Okay, welcome back guys. We have another question from chapter 2 of the Beer and Johnson textbook. We have the member BD that exerts on member ABC a force of P that is directed along line BD. We know that P must have a 240 pound vertical component and in the A part of the question we need to determine the magnitude of the force P and in the B part we have to find its horizontal component um so we solved a very similar question in the previous video uh where we had a two force member which is what we have in here so as i was saying in the previous video when we have a member which in here is the member bd that there are two different forces at the two ends of the member that will be a two force member and the force will be along the line that connects these two points and if that's the case, let's say this is our member AC and in B we have this force where we call it P. And what we need to figure out in here is the horizontal and vertical component of this force. And let's show our X and Y in here. So let's call this one our X and this one will be our Y axis. So if our force is along BD, which we already know from the question because the concept of two two force member is going to come in the next chapter so that's why the question in this chapter is mentioning but later on we'll see that it won't be necessarily in the question and we need to figure out that we have a two force member that that way this can help us a lot with the unknowns that we have in the question so this will be 40 degrees and the rest of this is pretty easy we just need to go with the sine and cosine since from the question we know that the vertical component or the PY is 240 pounds. We can start with the sine of the 40 degrees angle because the opposite will be PY. So if we do the sine of 40 degrees we will have the opposite which is PY divided by P. So from here our P will be PY which is 240 divided by sine of 40 degrees and this would give us uh, 373.4 and that's the A part of the question and in the B part we can go with the cosine of 40 degrees and if we go with that we'll have this time the adjacent or px over p we already found p so our px will be p which is 7 which is 373.4 times cosine of 40 degrees and that's going to be 286 pounds and that would be the answer for the b part of the question please let me know if you have any specific question about this one or if you have any other better solution to solve this question and we can go over those in the comment section uh, you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video have a good one